Hey every pony, New Leaf here, and we're back for the second part of Pony Amnesia Love and Mysteries. Last time we got uh, to talk to um, Fluttershy, Pinky, and Rainbow Dash, and today we're gonna do the other ponies and get closer to Fluttershy, hopefully. So today we're gonna start by doing Rarity. You enter Rarity's boutique, and a little bell chimes to signal your arrival. At first, you only see rows of beautifully tailored dresses nearly stacked together, but it doesn't take long for an elegant unicorn to appear from the back room. Welcome to my boutique. I am Rarity. Oh, okay. Hi, Rarity. I'm New Leaf. It's nice to meet you, New Leaf. How may I help you? Um, Twilight sent me. Oh, actually... Actually, let's compliment her. Let's compliment her. She's nice. Uh, she must have put a lot of work into them. Nice dresses. I was just observing your dresses. They're beautiful. That is delightful of you to say so. The golden silk dresses are my personal, f personal favorite. Touch one. You reach out to touch the dress and Rady makes a contented noise, clearly appreciating the attention that you're lavishing upon her work. Oh, it really is amazing. It's hard to believe that you do all these by yourself. What are you trying to say? You must work very hard. It is true that I work hard, sometimes too hard, but look, that but the look that I see on the client's face is more than enough to make up for any stress that might result from overworking. That's very thoughtful of you. That's very thoughtful of you, always putting the customer's interests first. That's good marketing, every pony. Heard you appears to appreciate your comment stepping a little closely. Oh my. The customer is always right. I've come to learn this. So, if that means making a few amendments to my dresses at times, then so be it. I cannot imagine anyone being dissatisfied with your dresses, Miss Rarity. That is most kind of you to say. Thank you for showing an interest in my work. My pleasure. My pleasure, Miss Rarity. It's been wonderful meeting you. Indeed, after work. So, I shall bid you at your. Okay, um. Watch Rarity as she walks away. You take your leaf moments later, still smiling about your exchange with this talented, articulate pony. Alright! So, once again, we open up very strongly with a pony. Um, so the last pony I've not visited yet is Applejack. So, let's do that. As you walk along the road to Sweet Apple Acres, you cross paths with, large re with a large red stallion pulling two carts overloaded with pastries. To your surprise, the stallion turns up in front of you and blocks your path. Want something to eat? Oh boy, I thought I was gonna get in trouble. <laughs> um, sure. Food's always good. Besides, wasn't my character starving last time around? After riffling through the cart for a second, you find what you look what looks like a freshly made apple pie. It's still warm and smells delicious. You're briefly unsure about where to place the treat, but soon decide to rest it on your back for the time being. This looks good. Wait, did you need something else? Thank you. I just wanted to thank you. You're welcome. Wait. It just seemed like you left kind of abruptly. I got something to work to do. Alright. Okay. <laughs> what? Big Macintosh. I could have probably asked him just two questions ago. Without another word, he turns away and walks to town uninterrupted. Uh, he's, he's, he's the quiet guy. Walk to Sweet Apple Acres and see piles of stacked apples everywhere. You breathe in the delicious aroma and then notice an energetic hat-wearing earth pony come into view, pulling a cart full of apples as she goes. She sees you and approaches eagerly. Well, howdy there. I'm Applejack. It sure is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We here at Sweet Apple Acres are always happy to meet the pony folk. Hey there, I'm New Leaf. It's nice to meet you, Applejack. Before you can finish your sentence, the Earth Pony's already shaking your hoof with her own. And what brings you around these parts? Uh, Twilight Sparkle told me to come here and meet all of her friends, so here I am. That's great, well, I'll be sure to have fun talking to you, but I have work to be getting done. Uh, what are you doing? Um, wait. You seem to be working pretty hard, what are you up to? Well now. 
Big Macintosh thinks he can't, I can't harvest all these apples for the festival by myself this year. This last year, I needed to accept help, so I'm gonna prove him wrong. Okay. Um, you can do it! If you can fuck all of these trees by yourself, that'll be pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. I'll be the best egg worker in all of Ponyville. Applejack seems to appreciate your wor words reading right up her hind legs. Oh, uh, what do we do? <laughs> I don't know. Uh oh. Um, I don't have a coin to flip, or do I? Wait, I do have a coin to flip. Let me let me flip this coin. If it's heads, then I'm picking the top one. If tails, the bottom. Eh, eh. Tails. Um. I bet I can bring out faster than you. You think so, huh? That's the best I've ever heard. Why I'm the best apple bucket there is. Prove it! Applejack rushes to the nearest tree and bucks it. The apple's expertly falling in two <laughs> cards. He crosses his legs over winking. Ain't no pony that can outbuck me. <laughs> That's. You're the best! <laughs> that ain't all there is to me. I'd have to agree. I'm the best apple bucket in pony, so thanks. But right now, I've got to be. Get myself back to work. I've been slacking off too much. You get the feeling that Applejack would continue talking if she didn't have to get back to work. You bid her farewell and take her leaf of sweet apple acres. Safe in the knowledge that Applejack is telling a talented pony enjoys competition. What do we say, every pony? If this is something that I always do in life. Little life lesson. If you have two choices and they both could be awesome, you flip a coin. You flip a coin. All right. It took you all day, but you finally managed to meet all the ponies Twilight asked you to find. Wait, what? Oh, we have to do these multiple times? Or in different occasion? Oh, so maybe this might be more than just a two-party. I don't know. We'll we'll see what the game is giving us. Every pony's been so kind to me, especially those six mares. I wonder what it's going to be like living here. You gaze about the full moon above you. It's pretty bright tonight, and the aura it is giving feels hypnotic. Huh? You suddenly bump into some pony lose your balance. After you recover, you look up to see who it is. Wait, what? How do I bump into Luna from looking at, at the moon? Is the moon crossing the um, the sky and crashing it to Earth or something? Who is she? A better question. What is she? I've never seen a pony like her before. Wait. Didn't I have a dream last time when we started? Maybe she's behind this. Citizens of Ponyville. Dost thou not know where to direct thy eyes when walking? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, look! She's called Winged Unicorn! Oh my gosh, that's one of the worst insults I've ever heard for an alicorn. God. Ouch! Huh? Thou hast interrupted our moment of silence by bumping into us. How does thee intend to amend this? Apologize! I'm sorry. The apology has been accepted. Pray tell. What is thou doing out at such an hour when thine fellows are all inside? I was looking at the moon. I was looking at the moon. Um, pray tell, sir. What dost thou think of the moon? Tis nice. Yeah, I like it a lot. Well, I mean, I see. It just so happens that we too were looking at the moon. Strange how coincidences come by, is it not? Might we know thy name? Oh, I'm Newleaf. I just got here. That is the one Twilight Sparkle spoke of earlier. She said thou hast lost thy memories. Dost thou remember anything at all? Um, let's see. I remember walking, waking up in the forest, then seeing some pony, but after that it's all blurry. We see thou, thou hast our sympathy for thy trouble. Oh my god. This is tough to read, but I'm trying. Still thou hast to have had interesting experience since waking up. Between waking up in the middle of nowhere, Having no clue how I am, then meeting Spike Twilight and all the others, I can say so. So what are you doing out here in the dark? It's getting late. We were making sure the moon was in its proper place, and all of the stars were in the right constellations. Oh, so she does do the stars too, huh? That's interesting. After all, should we sway from our duty then? The night we create shall be forever dark with no light to guide its creatures in the dark. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh oh! Oh, that's right. Thou hast lost our memories, and so thou thou would not know about us. We are the summoner of the moon! <laughs> oh my gosh, she's going crazy! <laughs> the stars beckon at our will <laughs> as we spread our wisdom through the land. 
<laughs> we are harmony and justice. You're a princess of the night. Princess Luna of Equestria. Despite the deafening shouting, your eyes widen as you realize that you are standing in front of one of the two rulers of Equestria. As Luna descends, you quickly bow. Y your majesty, forgive me, I didn't know. Rise, Nalif, tis not thy fault for thy misfortune. All is forgiven. You stand up and face the moon princess who just stares at you. The two of you continue to stare awkwardly at each other for a while until you decide to speak. Um... Why are you here? Actually, I think she already told us though, didn't she? Because she wanted to look at the moon. So why are you all on your own? Oh, I get it. It's interesting how the little choices that you pick sometimes can misdirect you or your character asks something slightly different. We had something like this with Pinkie Pie last time. We, I mean, I desire to break from my duties. It has been getting more and more busy with celebration only a week away. Normally I'm used to others doing the work instead of me. It is a new experience for me to be working with so many ponies. When the time came to finally rest, I was most overjoyed. Crowds are not my speciality. You like being alone? Not really, I just find it nice to take a moment to clear my thoughts once in a while. I guess I can understand that. It must be hard having to bring the night in all the time. Au contraire! Oh, my grown French too! Um, our amnesiac subject, crafting the night is the is my most favorite of duties. It is always refreshing to perform. We have missed it much ever since. Since what? Nothing. Tis no matter. I ask thou forget what I said. Um. Ooh, wait. What do we do? What do we pick? Um. Okay. This time I have two bad options, but I'm. Still gonna decide to throw this coin. Heads is ask and tails is drop it. Oh, where'd it go? It's tails, drop it. Alright, if you wish. We thank thee. Wait. Oh, sorry. Wait, I thank you, huh? It's okay. Just tell me when you're ready. Yes, Luna. Wait a minute. What time is it? Twilight is expecting me soon. I better. Oh gosh. Your Majesty, it was nice talking to you, but I'm afraid I have to go now. Twilight is expecting me. Ah, oh, yes, I understand. It was nice speaking with thee. I would enjoy it much if we should ever get another chance to speak. As would I, Princess. Please call me Luna. You nod and say goodbye as you head back to Twilight's house. Alright. Whew. I think the coin is helping us. Every pony, this is the magic of the coin. If I have to do this again and it always brings me to victory, then I'm gonna be the happiest thing alive. Make it to Twilight's library. So I assume she's the last character. You make it to Twilight's library, but upon arriving, you see that all the lights are out and it's quiet, but there's a street light that's turned on, you know. Did you go out or something? You open the door. Hello? Is she doing a book certification? Surprise! With what? You fall to your flank and look around in shock. Your heart nearly bursting out of your chest. Every pony cheers and sm Oh my gosh. What? This was all planned? That reaction was great. I was worried you had forgotten about the party that I planned for you. Then I realized I shouldn't worry because I decided to throw a surprise party and it wouldn't be a surprise if you knew. I just sit there speechless. I didn't see that coming. Sheesh. 100%. 100% surprised. Oh, I knew you would love it. I knew it. It was awesome. It was that. That is awesome. That is awesome in its entirety. I love it. I guess you really are a party pony. Thanks. Pinky, why didn't let him at least get up first? Oopsie, so let me a party can't be celebrated when sitting down. Unless you have a sitting down party, but that's not until two weeks from now. Sitting down party? What's up? Never mind, I'm better off not knowing. Yes, parties are sometimes fun when they're surprises. Twilight helps you up as you look around and see every pony partying already. A cool looking pony with shades starts working on the DJ mixer as ponies start dancing, eating, and playing games. Well, I should make sure that everything is going smooth, like ice cream. But what if it's Rocky Road ice cream? Then it's not smooth. It's chunky, just like my favorite peanut butter. Oh my gosh, I like where this is going. Now I have a craving for Rocky 
road peanut butter topping ice cream. I'll get some later though. My body is itching to dance. I'll see you two later. Oh my god, what's better, dancing or this ice cream? I have no, no idea. You could dance and have ice cream at the same time though. Um, unless you want to get people dirty with ice cream. Sorry about that. When Pinky has a party, there's no stopping her. I heard from my friends that you made quite an impression on them. I'm glad you're all getting along. Ooh, Rainbow Dash didn't say anything bad about me. Ooh, I'm pretty sure if I would have said something bad about Rainbow Dash, I would have gotten sass right at this moment, right? Yeah, they seem nice. Well, this is your party. I would hate to see the guest of honor not having fun besides. I held you back. Is there any pony you'd like to talk to? Ooh. Uh, Fluttershy. I'd like to talk to Fluttershy. She's usually away from Big Crots. I'd try around the bookshelves. Any pony else? Um... I'm gonna do two more because I don't want to go into, like, a, th a 40 minute episode of this. And I, I have absolutely no clue how long this is gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna give Luna a chance. Is she here? She mentioned you. Any pony else? Um, the third pony. I'm, I'm gonna... Fine, fine, I'm picking three. <gasps> of course, I could pick Twilight herself. I completely forgot about that. Twilight herself. Oh, well, I wouldn't mind. Ta uh, talking as well. I'll be by, by the bookshelf. Oh, That's it. That's it. We're, we're, we're nailing it down to three ponies. Guess I should get started and look around. So, this is... Okay, so we get a second list. We're gonna do this this episode. I don't know how long it's gonna be, but I think we can manage three. We're only 15 minutes in. This shouldn't be a problem. All right. Let's... Let's do this. Let's be... Let's be... Let's let's try to be focused. See Fluttershy, I never got to probably apologize for skiing off for animals. As you're approaching us, Fluttershy is speaking to two colts. They don't look like nice as pony, but if they're talking to Fluttershy, how bad could they be? Come on, Fluttershy, just dang it. Learn from right. Fluttershy, no, that's okay. Blue colt. Wait, I am blue, but I'm not that blue colt. Come on, buddy, she doesn't obviously like you. What about me, Fluttershy? Um, that's right, but I... Can we? Come on, you gotta stop doing this to Flutter. Please don't yell. Oh, what? You're gonna cry? Come on, Fl Oh my gosh. I'm gonna step in there. I, I shouldn't slap them, but I'm just. I'm telling them off. The two cults slap at you. might not have noticed that the cults are bugging her. Why are those guys invited? Get angry with them. As you approach the cults, the straight one suddenly wraps his foreleg around. F oh my gosh! Holding her closer. Fluttershy can only let out a small helpless who you suddenly feel enraged. Your voice booms as you stomp your hoof, threatening at the blue cold jumps and lets go. Fluttershy and fears. Also catch the attention of the surrounding party guests who seem to be ignoring Fluttershy until now. Wait, what? Oh, I hope I didn't overdo that. Is that you? The red cold then puts his foreleg around Fluttershy, making whip once more. Oh, well, take it easy, we're just having some fun with our old foot. And gives his pal a bump on the hoof. This isn't working, what do I do? If you do can't act like civilized ponies, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Twilight, don't worry, New Leaf. These two tend to crash Pinky's parties all the time. I'll take care of them. <gasps> Horse apples, it's Twilight. Run. Oh, that was actually the right choice. Whew. I thought I would have butchered it. I thought that was it. But I suppose, once again, we're doing well. The cults run past you and Twilight, who chases after them. Applejack, grab those two. Deciding the girls can handle it, you turn to Fluttershy. It seems frozen in fear. Talk to Fluttershy. Are you okay? Oh, nearly. Thank goodness you're okay. Um, thank you for. Oh, she did. She didn't mind me getting angry at them. Twilight was the one that scared them off. Yes, but not very many ponies defended pony they had um just met. Oh no, it's uh no big deal. I just saw you needed some help and um. You trail off, not knowing exactly what to say. Fluttershy not so so she knows the point you were trying to make. But hey, listen, I wanted to apologize for skiing you earlier today and your animals. Oh, that's alright. I'm sure it was an accident. Yeah. The two of you stand awkwardly for a few months before Fluttershy speaks. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I being um, boring? I'm sorry you cannot go to... Um... Um... I don't have a three-sided coin, though. Um... Am I scary? But still scary. Another awkward side. Oh boy. I didn't mean to call you out. I just I kind of wanted to, I don't know, hang out sometime. You begin to wonder if Fluttershy only said yes to stop you from 
badgering her. However, after thinking a little, realize that she seems far too nice to do that to you. Oh, new leaf? Before you walk, we turn to Fluttershy's face turns red. Thank you. You give Fluttershy a smile and not before walking back to the rest of the party. I don't know if I'm happy with what happened. I don't know if I'm happy with it. Whew. All right, uh, two more to go. Twilight is not an alicorn. Um, uh, I think that could have gone better. All right, Twilight's turn. Twilight seems to be like the responsible type. I wonder what she does at parties. She does the management, huh? After all, I didn't have much of a chance to get to know her before. The first breeding, you find her out of all places by one of the bookshelves. Rather than dance, play games, or one of many other fun things to do, she seems to have chosen to spend her time scolding children. So please, girls, be careful with that punch. A lot of these books are one of a kind and can't be replaced. Okay, Twilight. Oh my gosh, it's Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, and it's Scootaloo, Orange Philly. Now she's trying to be responsible with these. Oh, hello! Crusaders, I'd like you to meet, um, New Leaf. Oh yeah, sorry, anyway, he helped me out with the festival today. Despite being chastised only seconds earlier, the Phillies respond to you with bright-eyed enthusiasm. You can't remember if you like kids or not, but there's something about these Crusaders that makes you want to like them. Alright, we're being forced onto our opinion here. Hello Crusaders, what do you crusade for? We're the Kitty Mark Crusaders! We're on a quest to find out Kitty Marks! <laughs> what they said. Well, good luck getting your cutie mark is hard work. You're telling us. How'd you get your cutie mark? I don't know. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, oh my gosh. And with that, a perfectly enjoyable conversation gets awkward. The three stare at your flag while well, it was a purple polka dotted griffin. Huh? <sighs> you know how far that is from my cutie mark? No words for that. No words for that. Twilight's reaction shows more concern for you, but one looks at her fit. Look at her face tells you that she's trying to not stare at your cutie mark either. It's the most important moment of your life. How do you not remember? My little ponies, why don't you see if Pinkie Pie needs help with anything? Why? You haven't tried for a party throw cutie mark yet, right? We haven't. Let's do it, Crusaders. Oh, that was quick. It's like children. They totally forget about the conversation and charge to the newest exciting thing. They leave you alone with a purple unicorn that's wearing an unmistakable look of pity. You look Twilight's square in the eye and earnest say, thanks. Um, thank you, that was unpleasant. I know, it must be hard not having your memories. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It's fine, don't worry about me, she'll go with what? Twilight looks at you for the moment, chuckles wearily, as if you told some kind of inside joke. Then she looks at the ground while shaking her head. Thanks, but I worry about about a lot of things anyway. My friends are always telling me you need to loosen up. It's just that I'm Princess Celestia's personal apprentice. I need to be the best that I can be to live up to that honor. It was hard enough when it was just my studies, but ever since I moved to Ponyville, I had all sorts of crazy adventures, and now I'm in charge of the festival and Luna. It's hard to keep up. I'm sorry I must be boring you with all this. Let's just party. Why don't we both stop worrying about our problems and just enjoy this party? Good idea. After all, I and now you have all these wonderful friends to share our hardships with. Hey, you two. Get out of that corner and on the dance floor. It's time for the pony train. Speaking of, shall we, Miss Sparkle? Oh, my. Let's please and call me Twilight. She's dancing with me? Music is upbeat and has its unique flavor, much like the guests of the party. Strangely enough, you find that you have no trouble moving to the beat. Pretty soon, you're in full-on party mode, meshing with this odd goop as if you've known them for years. Twilight, too, seems to have left her worries behind her. She laughs and shows off some moves of her own. The power of friendship must be really something to take a lone stranger and a serious student and turn them into party ponies. When the time comes for the pony train, you hang on to Twilight almost instinctively. It seems at some point you've gotten comfortable around this disciplined unicorn, and who knows, you may find yourself reaching for Twilight in the near future. A pony as responsible and caring as she may be just what you need in the uncertain times that lie ahead. That went pretty well. That went really well. So, every pony, for the last thing of this episode or of this game, I don't know how much content there's after this, but I'm gonna go to Luna next. Go to Luna. You're curious as to why Princess like Luna is standing all alone from the party. You make your way through the crowds till you make it upstairs at the balcony. 
You find her looking at the moon again as you slowly walk towards her. Princess Luna! Whoa! Oh, Needleaf, it is only thou. Do not scare us like that again. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. Sorry, Luna, tis no matter. So why are you up here all alone? Why aren't you hanging out with everybody back at the party? When you are just really standing by so that may have the attention to their party after all. Um... Let's be honest, or we could ignore it. I don't know. It's, it's coin flipping time, every pony. If three times a charm. Um, heads. Heads. You're lying. All right. Let's see. You really aren't that good of a liar. Thou thinks we are lying. Are you? Yes. I swear this coin, I, I used it three times in the episodes, and all three times it has done the right thing. So what do you know? Love matters all are solved by flipping a coin, huh? Looks like she doesn't want to really interact with the others downstairs, I wonder why. I don't understand why you're standing up here, being a princess and all. You've had to attend mul hundreds of parties. Well, it's not like I haven't before, it's just I've been a while since I attended a party. But don't you want to attend it with every pony? Of course. I just don't know how to deal with parties like these. Most parties are not like the Grand Galloping Gala. Tis far from that. Um. Spend time with her. How about if I spend time with you? Wouldn't thou prefer to spend time with the others? I could use a break besides want to know more about you. Oh my. Well, okay. The two of you talk for a long time. She tells you about the early days of Equestria and how different things were back then. Oh my gosh, I think we've done extremely well with that choice. She tells us of battles she and her sister fought, such as Discord and Sombra. Eventually, the conversation drifts out towards Ponyville and Nightmare Night. It seems some of the ponies were afraid of her for some reason, but eventually they warmed up to her thanks to Twilight's efforts. Luna never tells you why they were afraid of her, though. A part of you wants to ask, but since she's finally relaxed, I put it aside for now. When I returned home, Celeste was so happy for me that we ate candy by the fireside that night until we were sick. I can't wait for the next nightmare night. Feeling better? Yes, I do. Thank thy, I mean you. Let's take her downstairs and join the party! Well then, now that you're relaxed, let's head to the party. Huh? You take the princess by the hoof and drag her downstairs. Oh. You manage to drag Princess Luna downstairs. She looks around like something is about to attack her as she glances back at the stairs. You see, nothing wrong, I we guess. Princess Luna... A, a strange fall comes toward the two of you and looks at Princess Luna with admiration. Wow, you really are here. Pinky told me you came and I've been looking everywhere for you. I'm so glad to see you again. You wanted to see me, fair child? Oh, Oh, it's like she's having fans. Of course, I don't recognize... Don't you recognize me from Nightmare Night, Night? Oh yes, the private dressed child. We remember you now. Can you meet my friends? I want them to meet you. Luna looks at you bef before you nod with encouragement. Well then, fair Pip, shall we grace thy associates with our presence? You watch as the two of them head towards a group of children, but not before Luna words out a thank you with which you only nod back in reply. Oh my, I think... Uh, Fluttershy's one was good, Pink, uh, Twilight's was better, but Luna's, I think, was the best out of the three. Unexpectedly so. You head over to the nearest snack table and grab some famous Pinkie Punch. Now that you have a moment to yourself, you can take a good look around the dance floor. Many ponies are looking a bit tired. Most are just standing around and drinking punch rather than danced like Pinkie Pie. Looks like the party's winding down. Hey, New Leaf, why are you standing there all alone? You look like you're having a, an inner monologue. Don't, don't tell me I'll party it out. Um, yeah, not, are we done or not done? Well, we've been at about 30 minutes. We can go for 40 if it's if it's that long. But if, if, if we have, like, another list, then episode 3 on the way. Um, not done yet. Stay so long. Till the break of the sun. Don't you mean till the break of dawn? She does, and no, we have too much work to do. Can't stay up all night. All but Twilight! You give out a loud moan with spikes and copies. Pretty soon the other ponies nearby do the same thing, and yawn spreads around. See, Pinky? 
New Leaf has had a long day, and I'm sure that every pony could use some rest. Let's end the party. Okie dokie loki. Aw, poor Pinkie Pie. Is that the end of the demo? No. Twilight soon gets every pony's attention as the music dims down and the chatter begins to fade. She then walks towards you as she begins to give a speech on who you are and how you lost your memories. Soon all eyes are on you, the mysterious stranger you never considered it until this moment, but the townsfolk might have been curiously watching you all night, really? It's hard to read their expressions, as every pony looks tired, but you believe that they are already forming their opinions on you and the actions that you will take in the future. And lastly, thank you all for coming here tonight and helping us welcome New Leaf to Ponyville. Yay! Oh wait, I fans now too! Oh boy. This is- I can relate to Luna in a way with this, you know. Uh, however, it's getting very late and we should have a busy morning ahead of us, so I think it's time for us to finish up and go to bed. Don't forget to grab a goodie bag on the way out. Oh, and a piece of cake. Maybe some ice cream and one of special gummy shape. Yes, thank you, Pinkie Pie. Anyway, before we finish, I'd like to invite our guests of honor to step forward and say a few words. Oh gosh, I have to say something! Ugh, what do we say? Coin! Help me! Leaving you in the spotlight with every pony staring at you curiously. Alright, this is it. Time to show them who I am. Um... I'm not gonna say um. I'm gonna either say the first or second. I'm, I'm gonna thank every pony. I can do this without the coin! Ever since I arrived in this town, you've all made me feel nothing but welcome. I've only been here a day, but already can look around this room and say that I've made... That I see the faces of friends. You hope that during my stay, I'll be able to repay each and every one of you for your kindness as well as get to know you all better. Thank you, everypony. Well, New Leaf, that was really nice. Oh, wow. I, I forget that we're trying to impress Twilight. That was important. Well said. Hear, hear. Hear what? I don't hear anything. <laughs> Pinky. Oh, see you tomorrow. Every pony have a good night. One by one, the guests shuffle out of the library. The party is officially over. With some still filled with energy and others looking as if they are about to collapse from exhaustion. But as every pony leaves to head out, a thought suddenly enters your mind. Where the hey am I going to sleep? Your thoughts are interrupted as some of the guests say goodnight to you, including those that you talked to earlier. Hey, are you okay? Oh my gosh, are you getting destroyed now? Oh, come on, leave! I hope I didn't mess up! Um, yes, yeah, thank you for what you did. Hey, no problem. Sorry we didn't talk so much. Or did we talk too much? No, you, well, how about we just talk again sometime? Fluttershy looks at you, unsure of what to do. She hides behind her maiden and nods, taking off in a hurry. Ooh, enjoy the night. And thank you for checking up on me. No problem, maybe we chat again sometime? Oh, I would like that. After saying your last goodbye, you're left alone with no pony else in the room except for you, Twilight, and Spike. So I think Fluttershy was a little too shy to say more right now, which is, I suppose, fine. She's uh, unsure, I suppose, which is... I suppose it's not bad that we take her time with it. Luna is on... there's nothing wrong. Luna's on, on the best of ways. Spike is... Uh, not Spike, but Twilight is the last... Wait, that's misspelled, by the way. Twilight is the last... last thing. Who knew throwing a party was such hard work? How does Pinky do this all the time? Must be all the energy that she has. I'm beat. Not me. I'm wide. Awake. Good, because we still have to clean this place up. I'll help clean. Oh, gosh. Um, they could both be good. Coin, help me! And... Heads. Where do I sleep? Oh, it's to interrupt, but I don't have any place to sleep. Oh gosh, that's right, don't have a place to live. You can stay with us. I was thinking of the same thing, how about it, Nuli? If you're welcome to stay with Spike and here at the library for as long as you need. Great. I swear, this coin has been doing a phenomenal, phenomenal job. I would be happy to. Alright, great. Then let's get out the, get this place cleaned up first. The three of you each take a spot in the library and work your best. Twilight uses her magic to pull down the streamers and balloons from the ceiling, where Spike puts the trash away and you bring the extra silverware to the sink. The whole time Spike chats with you, he tells you all about Ponyville and how many interesting things there are to do. He also tells you about the amazing ventures Twilight's had and the others had and the fight with Discord. The whole time Twilight is blushing from the praise. 
Once clean, we finish Spike heads upstairs to get beds ready. You walk over to Twilight. Spike really li likes to talk. It's one of his charms. Seems like you... Seems to like you... Though, New Leaf. It's always good to see him hanging around with other friends as the only boy in our group. I think he feels left out sometimes. Oh boy, that could actually... That could actually be a lot more true and... Problematic than I might think at first. So I guess that makes me his bro now? I wouldn't say that. New ponies are always interesting. Besides, Ponyville doesn't normally get that many newcomers like me. I thought you grew up here. No, I was born in Candlethorn. I'm studying magic under Princess Celestia. She sent me here to help out with pre preparations for the Summer Sun Celebration, the last time it was held here. I made so many good friends that when the time came to leave, I didn't want to go, so Princess Celestia let me stay. She sounds like a nice pony. She is. I respect her more than any pony for her love of her subjects and her desire to help any pony. Who knows? Maybe she can help you. Oh, maybe it helps her work right now. All I want to do is have a good night's sleep. You and Twilight head upstairs. We are a certain dragon already snoring in a room across from you. Twilight rolls her eyes and points to a door to the right. Assuming it's your room, you bid Twilight good night and head off to bed. Alright, everybody. You're exhausted from everything you head over to the spare room Twilight and Spike made for you. Gotta find my own place soon. I don't want to be bothered to either of them. With a loud la yawn, you lay your head down on the soft pillow and fall asleep. You feel as if you're floating in midair. You look around to see where you are, but there's nothing but darkness. What? What's going on? Suddenly, you begin to feel change in the atmosphere. The air shimmers as the world around you starts to reform. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It's all a dream. Do you know this place? Female voice. Big brother. Huh? Open the door, Red. Your school books weigh a ton and I don't know how much longer you can hold them. You're trying to say something, but your mind starts to move on its own. It's as if you're not in control of your body. I'll be there in a minute. You head over to the door, but you feel strange. The way you walk and even the way you talk feels different. You arrive at the door, but the room starts to fade away. You open the door, but before you can see what it is on the other side of the door, the world turns white. A dream? Oh. So the, the, what we just saw was a dream and not the entire game was a dream. Alright, everypony, so let's see. I'm going to go for two or three minutes to see if there's anything major happening, if, if they're going to end it. If, because this is a demo and it could end at any time. You wake into the sounds of birds chirping, the rays of the sun coming through the window. Was that a dream? Um, Spike, are you up yet? Yeah, come on in. Good morning, you sleep well? Yeah. No problems. That's good. Anyway, wanted to tell you that Twilight is up and I've got breakfast already cooking. I'll meet you downstairs for some grub. After all, we've got a big week ahead of us. Spike soon leaves you alone with your thoughts. Was that a dream or was it from the past? Who are you? Well, I think about it later. After all, today's a brand new day. So if they're saying that, there's really gonna be more? Or is that the end of the demo? It's the end of the demo. Good thing I didn't cut away after the dream. So I suppose that was a pretty awesome and fun experience. I wonder if we got the best ending. I don't know if we did, but I think we did pretty well. I think I think Luna would have loved the heck out of us if the, that would have gotten any further. But I suppose with that, I thank all the wonderful ponies who made this game. See their names here. They made this, and it's kind of, kind of fun to play through, and I'm pretty sure there's enough playroom to try this for yourself try to see if you could get together with some of the other ponies and see how it goes and i suppose i also thank you, all of you ponies so much for watching this awesome game where we got to date some of the other ponies and meet them a little closer and you know <laughs> maybe develop a good relationship with them and i'll see you next time bye bye and remember every pony <laughs> Dating can't always be decided by luck, every pony, even though that was really successful with that coin. <laughs>